Good morning. Today we'll start off by exploring the interface of Natron and see where you can find the tools, the nodes, the viewport and the properties of the tools that you'll be using throughout this series. So here we are in Natron. As you can see there are plenty of things to look at and we'll try to break this down in small chunks so you can understand more easily what each thing does. So going from left to right we have the tools, the viewport, the node graph and the properties to the right. You also have some menus up here where you can find the preferences and the displays and the layout settings and, and such. Then we also have the dope sheet and the curve editor down here. Firstly, we have the tools on the left. Here's where you'll find all of the tools you'll be needing. You can also access these tools in separate ways, but we'll explore this uh, in just a moment. Then we have the node graph. Here is where you'll spend most of your time building your scripts. To move around in the node graph, you simply hold the middle mouse button and pan around. You can also use the scroll wheel for zooming in and out of your script. Pressing F will focus all of the nodes in the middle. This applies to the viewport as well. The order that you place the nodes are very important to the output of the composite. So let's say for example that you grab a grade node and then adjust the gain. Then you head over to the menu and grab a blur node. And this blur node will blur everything before it, but not after. So make sure that you place the nodes in the order that you want the effects to occur in the script. In Atron there are several ways to create a node. First off, you have the nodes up to the left. So for example, let's create a transform node. Head over to the toolset on the left side and head over to the transform menu. From here, we'll be selecting the transform node. And you can see that it appears down in the node graph. And then let's connect the source to the uh, read file. And now we can change the scale of the clip, just like this. The second way to create a node is to select a node that you want to be the previous one, and then right click. And then again, head over to the transform and select the node that you want, in this case the transform node. This will place it after the node you've selected. And then you can change the scale and whatever. This will affect all of the nodes before the node, but not after the node. The order is very important as these will have different results. The third way of creating a node in Natron is to press the tab key. This will bring up a search menu where you can simply type the word transform and then you can select the node. Same thing again, making sure that you've selected the node that you want to be the previous one. And then you can scale it or what have you. Finally, the fourth way of creating a node is that some nodes have shortcuts assigned to the keyboard. So the transform node, for example, have, have been assigned to the letter T. So if you press T, it will create a transform node right after the selected node. And as you can see here, we can change the scale once again. Making sure that they're connected in the order that we want to affect things. Once again, node order, very important. Worth mentioning is that some nodes have both an A input as well as a B input. And these are always A over B. So if you grab a merge node, for example, this node combines two layers into one. In this case, you always want the A input to be the top layer and the B input to be the bottom layer. B for bottom, A for a top, I guess. A over B is the most common, most practical pipeline to work with your scripts. Here we have the viewer. And as you can see, we have connected the read node to the viewer node, so you can have a look at the images. Here you have the timeline, so you can scrub through and have a look at your composite. And when you're playing the timeline or scrubbing, you can see a very small green uh, line appearing. The uh, images has cached these frames, so you can play them back more smoothly. Then we also have some uh, tools up here for the viewport. 
these are used to compare uh, different notes and different images, but we'll go over these in more detail later on. So there we have it. The four most important panels in Natron. The toolset, the viewport, the node graph and the properties. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.